ancient times, the Stoics were known for being wise and having a lot of self-control. They also understood something important about human psychology, especially the psychology of attraction. This is still true today, and the psychological tricks they used can be the difference between pursuing a woman and having her chase you. In this video, we'll show you seven psychological tricks that only 1% of men know that will make her chase you instead. These aren't tricks to trick her, but to change the dynamic in a way that sparks her interest and keeps her interested. Stay with us until the end, because each of these steps builds on the last to create an irresistible AER. If you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share your story if you've had a similar experience. Let's start with the first of these psychological hacks. Part 1. Ask her about her friend. Subtly taking the focus off of a woman and asking about her friend is one of the most surprising and powerful ways to get her attention. At first glance, this might seem counterproductive or even risky, but if you do it right, it works like magic. This method. Focusing on her friend makes you feel a lot of different emotions, which is a psychological trick that plays on both social relations and deeper emotional triggers. She may start chasing you for her attention if she senses interest, competition, or even just a little curiosity. The first and most important thing to know is that this will make you stand out from other guys right away. It might seem like the right thing to do to make a woman feel special when you're interested in her, but it often comes across as needy or too eager, putting the woman in charge. However, if you casually ask about her friend, you show that you're not overwhelmed by her beauty or charm. You're showing that you have self-control. This instantly shifts the balance of power in your favor. You're showing her that you're calm and collected and not desperate for her approval. But there's more to this trick. By asking about her friend, you're also playing on a deep psychological need that most people share. The need to feel special and unique. When a woman notices that your attention isn't directly on her, she may feel uncertain. This uncertainty can quickly turn into curiosity. Why is he more interested in my friend friend? What does he see in her that I don't have? She wants to prove herself and show you that she's the one who deserves your attention because of this small change. Let's look at how this actually works. Let's say you're chatting with her in a casual setting, like at a party or on a coffee date, and the conversation is going well. Instead of asking her a lot of questions about herself, you switch the subject by saying something like, Hey, how's your friend? I remember you guys talking about her new project the other day. It sounded really interesting. This comment does a few important things. It shows that you're paying attention. You didn't just bring up a friend. You remembered something from a previous conversation. It makes the conversation feel less like an interrogation by shifting the focus to her friend. You avoid the trap of seeming overly interested or trying too hard. It makes the interaction more balanced and relaxed which makes her feel more comfortable around you. It adds a social comparison without being overt about it. You're asking her to think about how she stacks up against her friend. Compared to others, people often put in more effort to get the respect they want when they feel like they're not getting it. In this case, the woman might start to. She's trying harder to get your approval because she thinks you're not giving her enough attention, but this method only works if you're not too direct or make it clear that you're acting. It can fail. You should stay cool and casual, and if you really care about how her friend is doing, you shouldn't go too far. Don't spend the entire conversation talking about her friend, or give the impression that you're not interested in the woman you're speaking to at all instead. Drop a few casual mentions here and there, and then move the conversation forward. Another advantage of this trick is that it helps to create a sense of mystery around you. By not focusing all your attention on her, you're making yourself a bit harder to read in the world of dating. Unpredictability is often linked to attraction. When a woman can't fully figure you out, she becomes more intrigued. She starts to wonder what kind of man you are, why you're not like the others who have pursued her and whether there's something more to you than meets the eye. This unpredictability also ties into a sense of control by keeping her slightly off balance in the interaction. You're ensuring that she's more invested in figuring you out as the conversation progresses. She'll likely shift her behavior to try and win your approval or to pull the conversation back toward herself. This subtle, dynamic shift where she becomes more eager to engage is exactly what you want. 
Being in charge of your feelings and wants gives you power over other people and your relationships. Instead of letting your attraction take over, you're staying in charge, playing the long game and letting her come to you. Of course, this strategy won't work by itself. It's part of a bigger plan and needs to be used with other methods for it to really work. But when used correctly, it can be a powerful way to get her interested and set the stage for her to chase you in the end. A small but smart move is to ask about her friend. This causes a subtle shift in power and makes her wonder why you're not paying more attention to her. Sparks some competition and ultimately makes her want more of your approval. In a world where most men are eager to chase approval, sometimes the best way to stand out is to not do it at all. Chapter 2 Look more exciting on social media. In today's digital world, social media is often the first way people see into someone's life, and many people use it to stay in touch with friends and family. It can also help you make a strong picture of yourself that can have a big effect on how women see you and make them want to chase you. You should make it seem like you're exciting, daring, and interesting on social media. The Stoics knew how important perception is and how controlling how others see you can give you power. In the same way, making it look like you live an exciting, daring life on social media is a psychological trick that can make her curious and drawn to you without you having to talk to her directly. When men post selfies or boring updates about their daily lives on social media, it can quickly come off as needy or boring. Instead, you want to create a sense of mystery and excitement. Think of your social media profiles as an edited version of your life that shows off the best and most interesting parts of it. You don't have to lie about anything, but you should focus on highlighting the things that make you unique, like the places you've traveled to, the hobbies you're passionate about, or the events you're going to. For example, if you're into hiking, sports, or going to live concerts, post photos or stories about those things, share it. Even small things like going out with friends or trying a new restaurant can make it look like you have a busy social life. The goal is to show that you're always trying new things, that you're in demand, and that you're not waiting for someone to fill your time. By having this kind of presence on social media, you do a few important things. For starters, you're showing her that you're fun and interesting to be around without telling her. For second, you're giving her a glimpse into your life that keeps her interested. She'll start to wonder what you do when you're not with her and what other exciting parts of your life you haven't told her about. This interest can easily turn into attraction. Avoiding overprice is another important part of this plan. When it comes to creating intrigue, Posting less is often more. If you post too often, it might look like you're trying too hard or like you have too much free time. Instead, post only what you want her to see, leaving her wanting to see more. By controlling the flow of information about your life, you create an air of mystery. She won't know everything about you from the start, and this lack of predictability keeps her interested. A man with an interesting social media profile also shows that he has choices. Women may start to feel competitive because they want to know if they can keep up with your lifestyle. It's natural to want things we think we can't easily get, and by showing her that your life is full and exciting, you're telling her that she'll have to put in the work if she wants to be a part of it. In the end, by curating your social media presence in a way that shows an exciting, adventurous, and fulfilling life, you're setting yourself apart from most men and telling her that you're not chasing her attention, but instead, living your life to the fullest and that she'll have to chase you. Social media, when used correctly, can be one of the most powerful tools for attraction because it gives you control over what people see. The story of how other people see you, just like the Stoics learned how to control how other people saw them in their daily lives. Three parts. Imagine a new, mysterious side of yourself. Another powerful psychological trick to get her to chase you is to imagine a new, mysterious side of yourself that she hasn't seen yet. People are naturally drawn to things they don't fully understand, and if you can add a bit of mystery to your personality, you'll get her attention in a way that few men can. The Stoics believed in always improving yourself. They worked on their inner selves to gain new levels of knowledge and understanding. You can learn from them and work on parts of yourself that you haven't worked on before. Found out. 
The key to reinventing yourself is not to totally change who you are, but to show different sides of your personality. For example, if she knows you're usually calm and laid back, show her a more driven and ambitious side of you. If she thinks you're too predictable, be more spontaneous in how you act. This will keep her interested because she never knows what to expect from you. You can also change yourself by learning new skills. As a hobby or interest, try something new that pushes you and lets you experience new things. Whether you're taking up a new sport, learning a new language, or starting up a musical instrument, showing her that you're always changing makes you look more interesting. Women who are lively and interesting are drawn to guys who are deep and who are always learning and growing. By changing little but important things about yourself, you show that you're not stuck and are always trying to be better. You shouldn't tell her about or draw attention to this new side of you to let her in. Find it naturally. For example, if you've been reading about or practicing a new skill, let it come up naturally in conversation. When she sees that you've developed new interests or points of view, she'll be interested and want to know more about the man you're becoming. This gradual reveal of your different sides creates a sense of mystery that keeps her guessing and coming back for more. The idea of reinvention is also linked to self-confidence. A man who is always trying to get better projects, confidence and confidence is one of the most attractive qualities you can have when she sees that you're not afraid to step out of your comfort zone and grow. She'll be drawn to your inner strength and resilience. She'll want to be part of that journey to see where it takes you and to understand the complexity behind the man she thought she knew. Ultimately, reinvention keeps the relationship dynamic, fresh, and exciting. People are naturally attracted to what's new and different, and by continually showing her new sides of yourself, you'll make it impossible for her to grow bored or complacent. She'll be chasing you to keep up eager to learn more about the different layers of your personality, as with the Stoics, who believed in the constant pursuit of wisdom and self-discovery. This approach allows you to remain elusive and captivating in her eyes. Chapter 4. The Friends Zed, her one of the most counterintuitive but highly effective psychological tricks to make her chase you is to flip the script and friends own her. This tactic takes advantage of the natural desire people have for what they can't easily attain, and it turns the tables on the usual dynamic where men are often the ones pursuing women by friend zoning her. You're creating a sense of unavailability, which can make her more interested in you. This strategy isn't about playing games but about changing the way the dynamic unfolds, adding an element of challenge and surprise that often leads to stronger attraction. Friends owning her works because it challenges her expectations. Most women are used to being pursued. So when you establish that you only see her as a friend, it can create a sense of curiosity and even confusion. She might start to wonder why you're not interested in her romantically and what she needs to do to change that this shift in dynamic puts you in a position of power because now she's the one questioning her role in your life and it sparks the desire to win your approval or attention. People naturally want what feels just out of reach. And this is the psychological basis behind the effectiveness of this trick when your friends own her. Make it genuine. Treat her like you would any other friend without showing any signs of romantic or sexual interest. Compliment her, but keep it like a nonchalant. Invite her to hang out in group settings, but don't go out of your way to spend one-on-one -on -one time with her. By doing this, you're establishing clear boundaries that indicate you're not chasing her, and this can make her start chasing you. The subtlety is key here. You're not rejecting her outright, but you're also not pursuing her, which places her in a state of emotional limbo. That emotional ambiguity can be compelling, because it creates a sense of unpredictability and intrigue. The key to this tactic is to maintain a balance. Don't seem totally uninterested or far away. Instead, act like you value her friendship and aren't looking for anything else. Using this method, scarcity is a psychological principle that says people value something more when it's hard to get or not available in the way they might expect. By showing her that you're not available in the way she might expect, you create a sense of scarcity that makes her more likely to want what she can't have. This is because people often chase things that feel hard to get, which makes them work harder to get them. It's important to make sure that your actions are respectful and real, though. You're not trying to change her feelings. You're just changing the energy and expectations in the relationship. 
Getting together this subtle show shift creates a challenge that can intensify her interest in you. You're presenting yourself as someone who isn't easily swayed by surface-level attraction, and that alone sets you apart from the majority of men who might be vying for her attention. Over time, she may start dropping hints or trying to break out of the friend zone showing more interest in you than she initially did. This is where you can slowly shift the dynamic, allowing her to pursue you more actively. The trick is to remain composed and not given too quickly, letting her work for your attention when she realizes that she can't have you as easily as she thought. Her perception of you changes, and she starts valuing your attention more. The act of winning you over becomes a game that she engages with, and before long the tables have turned in the end, friend zoning her flips the usual dynamic, making her chase after you. Instead of the other way around, it's a subtle but powerful psychological trick that can create attraction through the element of surprise and the challenge it presents by positioning yourself as a valuable friend rather than an eager suitor. You're showing her that you're someone worth pursuing. It works because it's based on the idea of flipping her expectations on their heads. Once she learns she's the one being chased, her interest is likely to grow. Stronger. By putting her in the friend zone for now, you're also letting a natural relationship form based on respect and a genuine desire to be with each other. This type of relationship can often lead to stronger emotional bonds because you give her time to see how valuable you really are without the stress of normal dating. You're making her feel like she has to put effort into the relationship, and that effort can often lead to a deeper bond. The friend zone's real power lies in its ability to change the emotional landscape of the interaction. Instead of pursuing her, you let her take the lead flipping the script in a way that feels natural and compelling. This creates a unique form of attraction based on curiosity, scarcity, and the thrill of the chase. And in the world of romance, there aren't many things more powerful than making someone work a little harder to win your attention. Part 5. Let her catch you. Another good psychological trick is to let her catch you looking at her, but don't talk to her after she notices. This creates a sense of awareness and intrigue while keeping the conversation light and fun. The key is to be subtle and confident, so she can see that you're interested without making her feel uncomfortable or like an object. It's clear that you find her attractive, but by not interacting with her right away, either by starting a chat or making further advances, you're giving the impression that you don't know much about her. She knows you saw her, but she doesn't understand why you didn't say anything more. This uncertainty can make her interested and want to talk to you first. It's important to find the right mix. You don't want to seem creepy or too serious at this point. Just a quick look that lasts long enough for her to catch is all you need. You can look away with a small smile or keep doing what you were doing. The goal is for the exchange to feel light and fun, not serious or awkward. This strategy works because it makes her curious and makes her want more. By not acting on your attraction right away, you show that you're in charge of your feelings and not desperate for her attention. This laid-back attitude is often more attractive than overt pursuit because it shows that you're confident in yourself and not easily swayed by physical attraction. To be successful at this strategy, you need to be able to recognize your attraction without letting it control your actions. This self-control makes you more attractive and desirable because it sets you apart from men who are too eager to pursue. It also creates a playful dynamic where she might feel compelled to make the next move, turning the tables and putting her in the position of the pursuer. In the end, this strategy is about finding the right balance between showing just enough interest to catch her attention and holding back enough to keep her intrigued. It's a subtle psychological game that, when played correctly, can make her chase you to find out what's beneath the surface. By letting her catch you checking her out and then withdrawing, you're creating a dynamic where she feels compelled to engage with you, adding a sense of excitement and mystery to your interactions. 6. The book look better. Do something nice for yourself all the time. One of the best psychological tricks to get her to chase you isn't something you do directly to her, but something you do to yourself all the time. The Stoics believed in the pursuit of excellence through self-discipline, and you, can apply this philosophy to your life to become the best version of yourself. 
This isn't about changing who you are. It's about becoming a high-value man who is interesting, driven, and improving every day. Women are naturally drawn to men who have something going on in their lives, and by focusing on self-improvement, you create an irresistible pull that makes her want to be a part of your world. If you want to impress someone, you need to work on becoming someone you're proud of, which makes you more attractive. Working on yourself all the time, whether it's physically, mentally, or emotionally, shows that you're a man with goals and desire. Start by taking care of your physical health. Working out regularly, eating well, and taking care of your body shows that you respect yourself, which makes other people value you. Women are often interested in men who are disciplined and take care of their looks, not just because they look good, but also because it shows that they are ambitious and care about themselves. Being confident comes from liking yourself, and when you show that confidence, people are naturally drawn to you. But being more beautiful isn't just about how you look, it's about how you act as well. Find new hobbies and skills that will make you a better person all around. Learn something new, like how to play an instrument, get into a new sport, or learn more about something you're really interested in. A man who is always changing and learning is much more attractive than someone who stays in the same routine. Beyond hobbies, work on your emotional intelligence. Women are very aware of emotional cues. Being able to speak clearly, show empathy, and deal with problems calmly and collectedly are qualities that make you stand out. Many men don't think about emotional maturity, but it's an important part of building strong relationships. When you're emotionally stable and know how to deal with your feelings, you seem grounded and secure, which are traits that men naturally find attractive. Building an interesting lifestyle is another way to become more attractive. You don't have to be rich or famous to do this. Having a life full of meaningful activities and personal growth makes you stand out when you're passionate about your job, fun things, or personal goals. It gives you a reason to live. If a man is passionate about his life, women will come to him because they want to be a part of what's happening. Also, working on yourself sends the message that you don't need approval from anyone, including her. This independence is very attractive because it shows that you're not relying on others to make you feel good about yourself. You're living your life for you, and if she wants to be a part of it, she'll have to chase you. This shift in dynamic is subtle but powerful. When she sees that you're focused on your own path, she'll start to wonder why you're not focused on her, which will spark her interest even more. The key to this strategy is consistency. It's not a one-time thing. It's a way of life. When you're always changing and pushing yourself to be better, it becomes a part of who you are. You'll naturally exude confidence and attractiveness, making her more likely to chase you instead of the other way around. In the end, the best way to make her chase you is to become a man who's worth chasing, a man who's always striving for excellence in every part of his life. The seventh used the power of surprise to keep her guessing. One last psychological trick that will make her chase you is one that plays on a wish that everyone has. Inability to predict. If you can keep her guessing, you'll create an irresistible sense of intrigue that will pull her toward you. The Stoics knew that mastering the self meant mastering the art of perception, and by being a little unpredictable, you tap into a deeper psychological pull that keeps her coming back for more. Being unpredictable doesn't mean being unreliable or inconsistent. It means breaking out of the patterns and routines that most people fall into when someone can easily guess your next move. When you're subtlety unpredictable, she's always on the edge of her seat, wondering what you'll do next. This feeling of anticipation can be addicting because it makes her want to figure you out. One way to introduce unpredictability is to change how you interact with her. For example, if you usually answer her texts quickly, try taking a little longer sometimes. If you're always available to hang out, make other plans, and show that you have a life outside of her. This doesn't mean being persistent, it just means that you're a man with your own priorities, and she'll need to wait for your attention. This small change in behavior can make her value your time and attention more because she can't take it for granted. Another way to keep her guessing is to be spontaneous, and plan activities or surprises, that you won't expect to do when you're together. It could be as simple as 
suggesting a road trip or taking her somewhere she's never been before. The element of surprise keeps the relationship interesting. Being unpredictable is also good for how you show yourself, as we already talked about. If she doesn't know what's going to happen next, she'll be more interested in the experience and, by extension, in you. Changes in your personality can make you more mysterious. Don't tell her everything about your life at once. Hold back some information about your past or your plans for the future so she can learn about them over time. She'll keep wanting to know more about you because there's always something new to find out. But remember that balance is the key to being unpredictable. You don't want to seem unpredictable or unstable, so keep things interesting without losing her trust. She should feel safe in the relationship and excited that you're always coming up with new ideas. Rises. Once you get this mix right, you'll create a magnetic pull that makes her want more uncertainty. Also, using the idea of scarcity, when something is unpredictable, it feels rare and valuable because it's not easy to get. By being a little unpredictable in how you act and talk to people, you make yourself seem more elusive, which makes her want to follow you. She'll be interested in the thrill of not knowing what's going to happen next, and this can make an emotional link that makes her chase after you in the end. Being unpredictable is one of the most powerful psychological tricks because it keeps the element of wonder alive. When you're not easy to figure out, it makes her want to learn more about you. Use this trick with the others in this guide, like making yourself more attractive to get the results you want. If you change who you are and use social dynamics like friend zoning and subtle interest, you can make her want to chase you. The Stoics knew that the mind was the most powerful tool for influence, and if you understand these psychological tricks, you can use it to your advantage. Only 1% of men know these seven powerful psychological tricks that will make her chase you. By mastering these techniques, you'll not only stand out from the crowd, but you'll also be tapping into deeper psychological principles that have stood the test of time, even going back to the Stoics. Remember that it's all about balance, self-control, and understanding human nature. The key is not to manipulate, but to enhance genuine attraction by becoming the best version of yourself and learning how to navigate the subtle dynamics of attraction. If you liked this episode, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos about self-improvement and the psychology of relationships. Also, don't forget to share your story in the comments. Let us know what strategies have worked for you or how you plan to use them in your own life. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay confident, stay in charge, and always keep them guessing.